Hey everybody, welcome back to the Workbench series where we do work on the bench. Today we're going to take a look at some of these safety switches from a furnace. There's a variety of switches here that are thermally actuated. Thermally actuated meaning they make or break with heat. Some are automatic reset, meaning they will automatically reset when the temperature drops. And some are manual reset, which means you physically have to push a button in to reset it. Now these serve as a rollout switch, a main limit switch, an auxiliary limit switch, or a vent or stack switch. And they're all different. They're not interchangeable. If you ended up having to replace one of these, you'd have to have an exact replacement. For example, if we take a look at this particular switch here, which was a rollout, we can see the temperature on there, L230. So this opens at 230, and we can see it's a manual reset. This particular is a limit switch, and we can see there that it is L215-80. That means at 215 this switch would open and it would have to drop 80 degrees before it closed on its own. If we wanted to test these we would use the meter function continuity which is just a beep when the meter senses the circuit is closed it beeps. So we can test we put one meter lead on one side one meter lead on the other and this particular switch is closed. What I'm going to do for you here is we are going to manually open one of these switches and you heard the little pop we take, it's not so hot, we take our meter here and we test, it's now open. And if I press the reset button, you'll hear it click. And now it's closed. These switches here, without the reset button, have to cool down on their own before they close back up. Now it should be noted that if you do come to a call on a furnace where one of these switches is open, it's not just your job to close it or replace it, but to determine what caused that switch to open. You can tell what kind of switch it is by where it's located in the furnace. A rollout switch would be located around the burners, an auxiliary limit switch is typically located in the blower compartment, and a vent or stack switch is near the draft hood or on the flue pipe with an inducer motor type setup. So these are safety switches commonly found in a furnace. And if we were going to test them again, we're using continuity. Thanks for joining us on the workbench, and we will catch you on the next one.